In this video, we are not just about how deadly the venom is in a lab setting, but also at how fast it acts, how brutal the symptoms are, and how likely it is to wreck your day in real life. We'll start with the weaker ones and proceed to the most unforgiving poisons of them all. Botulinum toxin from bacteria. If venom had a leaderboard, botulinum toxin would be sitting smugly at number one, sipping an espresso and quietly murdering everyone at the table. Nope. It's not just deadly, it's microscopically deadly. We're talking an LD50 of 0 .00000001 milligrams per kilogram. That's eight decimal places. If you took just one gram of this stuff and sprinkled it evenly, you could theoretically kill a million people. One million. Well, this chemical death wizard comes from a chill rod-shaped bacterium called Clostridium botulinum that can be found in soil, dust, and canned food. It's a neurotoxin, which means it doesn't go for the blood or the muscles, but marches straight into your nervous system and sets the entire place on fire. Literally. Once this venom enters your system, it immediately blocks the release of acetylcholine, which is basically the go signal your nerves send to your muscles. Without it, you stop blinking, then breathing, then everything. The wildest part about this toxin is that humans actually use this stuff in Botox, because apparently we love a tight forehead more than we fear death. Inland Taipan, snake. Most snakes have one job, bite, inject, slither off dramatically. But the inland taipan is simply an overachiever. While other snakes are out here playing the venom game on easy mode, the inland taipan cranked it straight to nightmare difficulty. It's not just venomous, it's the LeBron James of venom delivery. What makes it top tier is the simple fact that the inland taipan venom has the lowest known LD50 of any land animal just 0 0.025 milligrams per kilogram. For context, if snake venom were alcohol, this guy would get you black out with one sip. It's a neurotoxic, myotoxic, coagulopathic mix that attacks your nerves, dissolves your muscle tissue, and messes with your blood clotting all at once. Like, why just ruin one system when you can ruin three? Also, it doesn't just bite, it machine guns venom. One strike delivers enough toxin to wipe out 100 people, and it can bite multiple times in rapid succession. Basically, it's the venomous equivalent of a rage quit, just like me on Night Rain before recording this. But despite being the most venomous snake on Earth, the inland taipan is basically a snake-shaped introvert. It lives in super remote areas of central Australia, avoids humans like the plague, and is almost never encountered in the wild. And if you would like to never get bitten by this snake, you should probably subscribe. You're safe now. Cone Snail when people think of deadly animals, their minds go straight to sharks, snakes, or that one pigeon that stares too hard. But lurking in the shallow tropical waters is a literal sea snail that looks like beach decor called the cone snail, specifically Conus geographus. This isn't some giant nightmare-inducing sea monster. It's a snail, like the size of a thumb drive. But what makes the cone snail so <clears throat> deadly is its venom, a high-precision blend of conotoxins. Think of it as a neurotoxic smoothie brewed to stop nerves from talking to muscles. The LD50 is estimated to be around 0 0.01 milligrams per kilogram, which makes it hundreds of times more toxic than cyanide. And just so you know, it doesn't inject victims with a bite or a sting, but literally shoots a microscopic venom dart. Yes, a literal biochemical harpoon. Plus, there's no anti-venom, so if a cone snail stings you, it's just vibes and ventilators from there. Box jellyfish, Chironix. If nature had a hitman with a clear, boxy aesthetic and zero chill, it would be the box jellyfish. This translucent sea demon literally has a venom that's scientifically classified as instant regret. What makes it terrifying isn't just the fact that it kills, it's how fast and brutally it does it. The venom targets your heart, nervous system, and skin simultaneously, causing searing pain, paralysis, and in many cases, cardiac arrest within minutes. Yeah, 
You heard that right. You can be snorkeling one second and flatlining the next, all from brushing up against something that looks like a floating shower curtain. Nope. And it's not just a single sting you've got to worry about. Each tentacle, and there are 10 to 15 of them, stretches up to 10 feet long, loaded with half a million stinging cells. Each one is like a tiny hypodermic needle injecting a microscopic cocktail of nope into your bloodstream. It's not just overkill, it's over overkill. But for the cherry on top, the box jellyfish can see you. It has clusters of eyes, actual functioning eyes, making it one of the few jellyfish that can hunt intentionally. Oh, and there's no universal anti-venom. Your best hope is vinegar, CPR, and a miraculously fast ambulance. Blue Ringed Octopus the blue-ringed octopus is the kind of creature you'd expect to see in a kid's aquarium starter pack. Small, squishy, and covered in neon blue rings like it's dressed for Coachella. But this cute and colorful sea creature is actually rocking one of the most potent venoms on the planet. We're talking wipe out 26 humans with a single dose levels of toxicity. Its venom is made up of tetrodotoxin overdose, which nope. doesn't just mess you up, but also disconnects your nervous system from your brain. One nip in your body would just forget how to do anything. What's worse is that you'll stay conscious but completely paralyzed, locked in and aware of every second as your body slowly shuts the life off. No drama, no pain, just a soft fade into oblivion like being ghosted by your own lungs. And guess what? There's no anti-venom, zero. You get bit, they toss you on a ventilator and cross their fingers. Survival basically depends on how fast someone notices you collapsing on the beach. Pufferfish, Fugu. You ever look at a pufferfish and thought, aw, cute squishy balloon? Yeah, well, surprise! That adorable sea marshmallow is basically a biological landmine with fins. At the heart of this floating bioweapon is tetrodotoxin, a neurotoxin so savage it makes cyanide look like chamomile tea. In fact, a single pufferfish can carry enough of it to kill 30 adult humans. One fish, 30 bodies, and there's no antidote. It starts with numb lips, then facial paralysis, then your diaphragm taps out, meaning you can't breathe. You're fully conscious, by the way, trapped in your own body like it's buffering. Death can happen in under six hours, and the only thing doctors can do is help pump your stomach and hope your body is strong enough to ride it out. Now, here's the interesting part. People still eat this fish. On purpose. Fugu chefs in Japan need a license and years of training just to legally prepare it, because a single misstep means that fancy dinner becomes funeral catering. Coastal Taipan. This snake isn't just deadly, it's a slithering science experiment built to kill. You see, most venomous snakes give you a little wiggle room. Some pain, a hospital dash, maybe a cool scar, but the coastal taipan said, nah. Just one bite from this guy and your nervous system straight up ghosts you. We're talking immediate efficient paralysis. Basically, its venom contains typotoxin, which is like pulling the fire alarm in your brain. Once it gets in, signals stop firing, muscles stop responding, and your lungs just kind of peace out. And this thing is fast, like twitchy fast. Strikes like it's got somewhere to be and a vendetta to fulfill. Which is unfair because it already lives in Australia, which is the final level of Earth's try not to die simulator. Eastern Brown Snake. You don't see it coming. There's no ominous rattle, no horror movie hiss, just a blur in the grass, then the burn. And by the time you realize what just happened, your blood's already starting to clot in all the wrong places. Its name is the Eastern Brown Snake, Australia's stealthiest serial killer. Nope. It's not the biggest snake in the outback, and it's not the flashiest. But when it comes to lethality, it punches way above its weight class. What makes it terrifying isn't just its venom's potency, but the brutal efficiency. Its venom contains a lethal dose, LD50, of just 0 0.0365 milligrams per kilogram, which puts it among the most toxic land snakes on the planet. The Eastern Brown comes in with a combo platter of neurotoxins, aka paralysis, blood coagulants, and internal bleeding. Basically, if your nerves don't short circuit, your blood will clog up and your organs will throw in the towel. 
What makes this Noodle of Doom so dangerous is its vibe. It's fast, it's alert, and it's not shy. Eastern Browns love hanging out in populated areas. Farms, backyards, even under your barbecue grill. And when threatened, they'll strike immediately. Stonefish. Let's get one thing clear. This fish doesn't just have venom, it has drama. The stonefish isn't lurking around in deep trenches like a classy killer. It's chilling right where you're most likely to step barefoot. So think shallow reefs and sandy shores. And because it literally looks like a rock someone sneezed on, people step on it all the time. Big mistake. This aquatic menace has 13 dorsal spines, each one loaded with veruca toxin, a venom so potent it causes immediate agonizing pain, muscle paralysis, tissue death, and in severe cases, cardiac arrest. The kind of pain is so intense that some victims legit ask to have the limb amputated just to make it stop. The scariest part is that the stonefish is super easy to encounter if you're wading around tropical waters. It's not just deadly, it's accessible. The venom isn't the most chemically toxic on the LD50 chart, but the delivery system, aka its stabby spines, and the likelihood of accidental contact make it an elite tier threat. Oh, and of course, there's no anti-venom. So your best treatment is hot water. Not nope. even boiling water, just hot to denature the proteins. Black Mamba Found across sub-Saharan Africa, this sleek, fast-moving serpent has earned its deadly reputation not through brute strength, but by combining lethality with efficiency. While its venom isn't the most toxic by weight, it's the delivery system that sets the Black Mamba apart. Its venom is a potent neurotoxin designed to interrupt communication between the brain and body. One bite can inject 100 to 400 milligrams of venom, far beyond what's needed to kill a human. Death can occur in as little as 20 minutes. The effects are devastating. Victims typically experience blurred vision, muscle paralysis, and eventually complete respiratory failure. The body simply forgets how to breathe. But what truly elevates the Black Mamba to the upper ranks of deadly animals is its behavior. It's fast, clocking in at up to 12 miles per hour, and when it feels threatened, it doesn't hold back. This snake will strike repeatedly, delivering dose after dose of venom with terrifying accuracy. Sydney Funnelweb Spider Despite being roughly the size of a toddler's palm and looking like it's made of melted licorice, the Sydney Funnel Web Spider packs one of the deadliest venoms on the planet. And the active ingredient is a trachotoxin, a neurotoxin that doesn't just mess with your system, it crashes it like someone yanked the power cord out mid-update. Fun fact! The venom is super deadly to humans, but barely affects most other animals. That's right, the Sydney funnel web is accidentally optimized to kill us. Like we're the final boss it's been training for this whole time. A bite from this backyard reaper can kill an adult in under an hour, and a child in even less. Victims experience symptoms like muscle spasms, foaming at the mouth, and eventually respiratory failure. Before anti-venom, this spider had a kill record that would make a cobra blush. And the fact that these spiders are super common around Sydney and love to hang out in shoes, laundry, and swimming pools? Yeah, that's nightmare fuel. Could you calm down for a minute, Australia? Brazilian Wandering Spider so, imagine a spider that doesn't nope. just hang out in a web like a normal creepy crawler, but spends its whole time wandering at night on the jungle floor. That's the Brazilian wandering spider. This spider didn't earn a spot amongst the world's deadliest just because it looks like it crawled out of your sleep paralysis dream. It's here because its venom is a spicy cocktail of neurotoxins, most notably PHTX3, a compound that shuts down your nervous system fast. It blocks calcium channels in the synapses, which basically means your neurons cease functioning, which means muscles stop contracting, breathing becomes a suggestion, and if you're unlucky, your heart throws in the towel. What makes it especially scary is that it injects large volumes of venom. <gasps> Combine that with its aggressive temperament and habit of hiding in shoes, clothes, and banana crates, and you've got the recipe for high-level danger. Oh, and let's not forget, the venom causes prolonged, painful erections. 
A bonus symptom that's both medically fascinating and wildly inconvenient when you're dying. Bullet Ant Let's get something straight. The bullet ant didn't evolve to kill you. It evolved to haunt your nervous system like it's auditioning for a horror film. While it doesn't have the most toxic venom in the insect kingdom, what it lacks in fatality, it overdelivers in raw, screaming agony. This jungle menace from Central and South America is known for one thing. The worst sting on planet Earth. Nope. It's not an exaggeration, it's not nope. hyperbole, it's backed by science. And by anyone who's ever had the misfortune of being its chew toy. Its venom called Panerotoxin doesn't just attack, it hijacks. It scrambles your nerve signals, keeping the pain switch jammed in the on position. Victims describe it as white hot electric and completely soul snatching. Pain that doesn't just hit, it settles in, grabs a snack and stays the night. And the worst part, it lasts up to 24 hours. Now, it won't kill you, but it doesn't need to. The bullet ant earns its place among the deadliest venoms not because it's lethal, but because it's legendarily cruel. Komodo Dragon For the longest time, we thought the bite of the Komodo Dragon was deadly because their mouths were just full of bacteria, like natural septic tank vibes. But plot twist, nope. it's not the germs that kill you, it's venom. When a Komodo dragon bites, it's not trying to kill you instantly. That would be merciful. Instead, its venom floods your system with anticoagulants, meaning your blood can't clot. So you start leaking inside and out. Every scratch becomes a faucet, and every second your blood bleeds a little more life away. But that's not all! Their venom cocktail also drops your blood pressure and messes with nerve signals. Translation, your heart works harder, your muscles get weaker, and your brain starts freaking out as your system crashes. And the Komodo dragon? It doesn't chase. It doesn't panic. It just follows. Calm, methodical, relentless. Like death on a lunch break. It'll trail a wounded animal for hours, even days, waiting for the inevitable collapse. And when it finds the body, it'll tear through bone like it's biting into an overripe peach. It's definitely cold-blooded. Literally. King Cobra Most venomous snakes work with microdoses, precise, surgical, almost minimalist. But a single bite from the King Cobra can deliver up to 600 milligrams of venom, which is enough to drop an elephant. An actual elephant! For humans? We're talking respiratory failure, paralysis, and death in about 30 minutes to a couple of hours if you don't get anti-venom. What makes this snake an A-lister in the Venom Hall of Fame is intent. Most snakes strike defensively. However, this snake would stand up, flare its hood, and hiss like it's straight out of a medieval dragon casting call. It's aggressive, territorial, and weirdly strategic. It doesn't just go for random shots. It aims for the central nervous system like a hitman with a neuroscience degree. And while most snakes slither away after a bite, the King Cobra sticks around to make sure the job's done. It's one of the only snakes that will actively defend its nest, which is basically unheard of in the snake world.